going on everybody welcome back to the channel um real quick i'm gonna apologize up front as you can see i'm outside mosquitoes are like crazy so if y'all see me swatting at mosquitoes and stuff i apologize and i try not to shake the camera too much um well the other day like always this thing came to me in the mail and I tried to do a video yesterday, actually out on the water fishing some of these baits. I messed up. There was a few parts in the video that I didn't have my microphone turned on, so the video just didn't turn out too good. So now I'm going to do a new video. But I get to show you some of these things actually on the rods that I was using them on. I've already went through some of these. Uh, I might, I might have to take a look through my archive. I know I was doing a set of a series where I would talk about the rod and reel setups that I was using, what I was using them for, and I can't remember where I stopped. So I will go back. I will look through some of my videos and see which one I've done, and I will try to continue on with those, uh, with that series of rod and reels, you know, my setup that I was using. But. Uh, one of the things I also want to talk about is these cool new rod covers that I've got here. As you can see, the name brand, UPR VR. Really cool rod covers. Uh, they're made out of neoprene. Uh, I think that's going to really help protect the rods as well as the guides. And it also has this loop right here where you can actually uh, get a rod caddy and put multiple rods in that caddy and be able to take this little spot and run a strap through there to hold them all together so you can carry uh, multiple rods at one time. I'll leave a link for uh, this down in the description box so that way you can go and take a look at them. They do have other things. They have uh, gloves. Mine are down here in my little compartment. I can't get them because I've, I've got the camera set up on top of that. They do have the sun gloves. They also have uh, outboard covers as well as uh, the power pole covers. Uh, I'm going to assume for those that have the Minn Kota Raptors, if they have those, I'm going to assume that those sleeves will also cover the Minn Kota Raptors. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I don't have power poles or Raptors or even the Talons on my boat, hopefully one day. Hopefully one day I can get those, but they do sell covers for those, the outboards, as well as other things. So, like I said, I'll leave a description down below so you can check those out. So far, I'm really liking these. They come in different colors. That one's blue. All of mine are blue, uh, but they come in different colors. So, go check them out and get you a rod sleeve. And now, let's get into the reason for this video. Again, the Monster, Monster Bass Bag. Rick did away with the boxes because he said everybody's doing boxes and Monster Bass is different. So he did bags. The cool thing with these bags is you can reuse these. It has this little spot right here where you can write on there what you got. So if you want to fill up a bag full of, if you're a Guggenbait guy and you want to fill up a bag full of the Guggenbait Bandito Bugs, then you can put on there Bandito Bugs. If you're a Strike King guy and you want to fill this thing up with the uh, Rage Swimmers, put Rage Swimmers. You can buy these bags separate. Just go to the Monster Bass website and find them on there. As well as a ton of other baits that come in the Monster Bass bag along with a lot of the top name brand stuff. Uh, Rick is all about trying to get local companies out there onto the market and he'll try the product and if he like them and think it's going to be a good seller he throws it in the bag as well so jump on monster bass get you some of these uh again as always i will leave the link down below so you can click on that save yourself some money because these bags you're 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 getting a bag full of about fifty dollars fifty to fifty five dollars worth of lures that you only have to pay about $35 a month to get you one of these. So, uh, I think we're still using Save 10. 
So if you click the link that I'll leave below uh, in the promo code when you go to check out, put in SAVE10. If it's something different, I will put it in the description box to let you know, but I believe we're still using SAVE10. Save you $10 off your first month subscription. But let's jump into this. As always, you get a card. Uh, I cannot think of this guy's name, but he also has a channel called Fishing the Lone Star. He's part of the Monster Bass team. And that is him fishing an Alabama rig and caught two fish on one. So, awesome. Uh, inside, it'll give you a description of all the lures that you will get, as well as how much these cost in retail stores. So, it's really great. And then you check out some of the videos, and some of the guys on the Monster Bass team will explain to you how to use certain lures. Um, okay, so starting off, we have the B8 Lab Surface Slammer. And it is, let me find it, half ounce in size. And the color is called Panic Plum. This is a subsurface bait, which I have it tied on right here. I was actually using this one the other day while I was out. Let's pull that off. But that's the lure. Oh, goodness. That's the lure right there. Uh, eyes are kind of reflective, a green color, a uh, silver color, purple towards the back. Uh, but this is a subsurface lure. Uh, whenever you cast it out, it will sit just beneath the surface. Um, I experimented with it. Uh, it works best if you work it just like a normal uh, top water lure or even uh, kind of think of this as a subsurface jerk bait, but just work it the same way. Popping your rod tip down, you still get that erratic action. Switch up the cadence that way, you know, you got a different cadence going, but uh, it basically works about the same way as that. And that comes in at eight dollars and 29 cents. Next is the Catch Outdoors Jack Slap. That is this little thing here. Uh, it's basically it's a, ba a blade. <clears throat> it's a blade bait. Uh, I would recommend throwing this on a spinning setup. Uh, but it's gold in color, one third of an ounce. So it's a very light lure. So definitely recommend throwing this with a spinning setup. But uh. It has the little Colorado blade on the end, so probably just a straight retrieve, maybe even a popping motion, bring your rod tip up, kind of a yo-yo type action. Uh, this comes in at $7. Next is the Lunker Candy Spinner Bait. Uh, this is what they call the Spin Master, 3 8 ounce. The color is chartreuse and white. Uh, here, that's the color. Chartreuse on white, chartreuse on the head. You got a small little kicker blade with your small uh, willow leaf blade. I actually doubled up on this one. I'm going to skip ahead on one of these. For the trailer, I used this. Oh, sorry. The Lunker candy comes in at seven dollars, and then I put the Carolina, the Deep Creek lures. Carolina shad is the color, but uh, I put this on there as the trailer. Now with this lure, basically your basic fluke style bait, but it has the little cut here in the belly. So you can run your hook back in there so you can use this on a either a wide gap or just a round bend hook and work it as a soft plastic jerk bait. Uh, like I said, I used it as a trailer on the spinner bait. And this came in at $5.50. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, now I'm going to go back to one. And this is the Booyah Baked. This is the Booyah Prank. Color is Bone Shiner. This comes in at $10. Okay, I don't know if you can really see that, but it's a crossbreed, or I guess I should say a hybrid of a popper but then it has a little lip like a crankbait again this is a surface to subsurface uh, you can work it on top like it's a regular popper or you can do a straight retrieve and that lip will make it dive down and so you can work it just right there under the surface of the water I didn't get a chance to uh, try this one out yesterday as you can see it's still in the package and this one comes in at, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, this one comes in at ten dollars. So let me try that again. The B8 Lab Slammer is eight twenty nine. The Catch Outdoors Jack Slap is seven dollars. The Lunker Candy Spinner Bait seven dollars. The Booyah Prank ten dollars. And then the Carolina, the Deep Creek Carolina Shad, five dollars, five dollars and fifty cents. So I, can't, I got mixed up somewhere. Now we're on track. Next up, we have the X Zone Adrenaline Crawl. Uh, I mean, not much to really say here. It's the X Zone Crawl Bait. Purple Shad is this color, and this is the 4.25 inch. And you have to remember with these style baits, your pinchers are still together from when they were in the mold. So before you start to fish with this, make sure you pull that little tab to separate your pinchers. That way you have that, that double kicking action with those. And these come in at $5. Um, I have one of those already tied on. I was using that uh, Texas rig, just flipping it around certain things as well as I was casting it out and then just hopping it back. Uh, next is the Thunderhawk Hybrid. I kind of ripped the package up y'all, I'm sorry. But this is the Thunderhawk Hybrid Diver. And what it is, I've got one of these tied on also. It's a little swim bait. Uh, I messed, again, I messed up the package. Uh, it's purple. June bug color, I think. But see, it comes with its own swim bait head that's designed to fit that body. And it's a paddle tail swim bait. This was the only thing that I was throwing yesterday that I actually got a bite on. But uh, he got off. It was a, it was, I could tell it was a small fish, so he had got off. So, But that was the only thing that I threw that even got a bite. But this one here comes in at $4.50. And then the last thing was a set of Mustad treble hooks. Uh, this is a size 4. You got three in there. So any of your hard baits that have treble hooks, you can switch them out. Uh, there's another video that somebody done for Monster Bass. I'm sorry, I cannot remember his name. But he described when and why you would want to upsize your hooks, why you would want to go from regular size shank to a short shank, uh, why you want the EWG versus the round bin. Um, I have to find that video and then I'll link it in mine so that way if you're curious about why you would want to do that then it'll be in there. And then as always uh, we get a sticker. This one is the Bass Hick grenade sticker. And then the Monster Bass reusable bag is a bonus. So again, with all of this stuff right here, there's about 50 to 55 dollars worth of lures. Uh, some of these are from local companies that he has been trying out. Um, one of our last, one of our previous bags, I noticed that the Thunderhawk is actually made right here in my state in Arkansas. So I thought that was pretty cool that a lure that was made here in my own state is being put in these Monster Bass bags. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
I'm going to have to look into those guys a little bit more and see what else they got and probably order some stuff from them. But I never would have known that had it not been for Monster Bass. And I'm pretty sure there's lures in your state that you probably didn't know was manufactured in your state until you got a Monster Bass bag and found out that's where they were from. So it's really cool and you get introduced to a lot of lures that you probably would never pick up when you go to a tackle store. So, why are you still waiting? Click on the link below and get you a Monster Bass bag. Sign up for the subscription. That way you don't have to worry about it. Like I said, you'll check your bank account. Sorry, there I go swatting. You check your bank account. You'll see that the money has been uh, withdrawn from your account. You'll get emails to let you know when your shipment has been sent out. It will let you know that uh that when that month comes up you'll get an email letting you know the order confirmation basically you ordered it it'll let you know that's when you'll notice that your money has been taken out of your account for monster bass then it will send you an email to let you know that your bag has been put in the mail and it's on its way then if you're at work you will get the email to let you know that the delivery guy has just delivered your bag so you'll know step by step when it's getting there and the people at monster bass they're really good if you have a problem with your order if it's anything that they can help they will try to help you as best as they can so again you still wait why click the link and get you a monster bass bag while you there pick up these nice hats uh, they do have shirts. I'm not wearing my shirt today. I had it on yesterday. But they got some nice shirts. They got some nice beanies. They got a lot of cool stuff. Also, on the back of this, while I'm thinking about it, Monster Bass now sells tungsten weights. So again, get your lures and your weights all at one place. So click that link and get you some Monster Bass gear and go out there and catch you a monster bass that's all I got thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing smash that thumbs up if you like this video leave me a comment share the video I will try to get back to you on these comments and stuff guys again I'm gonna get back into my uh, my setup series where I go through my setup of rods and reels why I have them set up that way and what I fish you know what style of fishing I fish with with that particular rod so I'll try to get back to those on my next video and if there's something else y'all want me to do a video on I will also get back to some of my uh, gun talk videos as well so y'all start dropping comments and shoot some ideas at me uh, what you want to see from gun talk as well as my fishing videos and I'll try and do my best to make that video and get back to you uh, that's all I got guys Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around this whole time. And I'll see you guys next time in the great outdoors.